Right, guys, if you'd raise your hands. Are there any hands raised? Okay. Um, Simon Collins, we'll start with Simon Collins, please. Well, I first thought that um, defensively we didn't have um, any issues apart from the goal that we conceded from the set play that was disallowed. But with the ball, we were extremely inconsistent. Every time we found the advantage, we could not link uh, to get into the final set, um, which gave us the problem that we didn't have any penetration or threat in goal. Um, and the game was always open because that allowed transition moments, that allowed not continuing in our play to dominate the game the way we had to. But in one of the few times that we did, uh, we scored the goal. Uh, we went one 0 half time, and obviously that's the moment to grab that and use the moment that they were in um, to control the game even more, go for the second goal and, and try to kill the game. And, uh, and when we had the opportunities, we had four big chances uh, with Eddie, two with Martin and one with Oba. We didn't do it. and. Um, and then out of nothing, we concede the first goal out of a throw-in that, um, that we had. So, very disappointed. Um, what did the players think of Aubameyang at the end? I mean, Marty in his interview today said he's rating his performances sort of 4 out of 10. Just, can you give us an insight into what the confidence in the team is like? Because a lot of these players look, look really low at the moment. Well, losing today is tough because... Um, we lost at uh, Old Trafford, but uh, we had the feeling that we should have got much more from the game. Um, and today we would have been at our level, we would have won the game. And um, the reality is that we weren't for a big part of the game and, um, and not consistent enough. And when that happens away from home and you give something to the opponent, um, very difficult to win a game in the Premier League. So, um, very disappointed today. Thanks, Simon. We'll go to Kaya next, please. Kaya Kainak. Uh, hi Miguel, I'm uh, just wondering, uh, you chose to leave Nicolas Pepe on the bench again this evening, he's not played for a while now, is there a particular reason why he's not been involved as much as left? Because I decided to play Eddie today to, to bring him on and um, he created three chances and hit the post in once in 25 minutes I think. And uh, is Gabriel Marcelli okay if he came on changes? I don't know, we we'll have to assess him, but uh, he felt something in his hamstring, so <clears throat> I'm not very positive about it. Uh, thank Thanks, Kyle. We'll go to Charles Watts. <clears throat> Hi, Miguel. Is it quickly to Dan? Dan, I'm not sure if it's just me, but I don't, I don't, we can't really hear Miguel at all. In his answers, I'm not sure if it's just me, but if it is, I'll ask the question anyway. Um, Mikhail, just it's another game where you've had a lead and and seen and ended it empty-handed. It's after and after going two one behind today, you, you had some chance and one one as well with Eddie as well. It seemed like you started to play freely once you'd given away the lead. Is that a real frustration? It seems to be a familiar theme. Well, very frustrating because when you are one nil away from home and um, and we knew the scenario and the context that we were playing in tonight with the situation they were in. Um, we should have done much better. Obviously, you have to put the chances away, but uh, our general play, the way we executed what we wanted to do, it wasn't uh, consistent and, and good enough. Yeah, I can't quite hear you, but I think I'll probably be able to get the, I'll be able to get the recording of it. Can you just, um, on Nicholas Pepe, the fact you brought on Eddie, who uh, out wide, and you know, I think we, any rejected con contract offers could be leaving in the summer, and you're preferring him over the club's record signing. It just seems a little bit of a strange decision. Can you can you understand why many people are sort of kind of questioning that? Yeah, he, he does every day in training what you see him do in 25 minutes here, every single day. That's what I picked him. Okay, Charles. I think there's no more hands up. Um, I hope you'll get Thank a recording you. of our offer. So thanks very much, guys.